So in today's episode, we are going to start working on a particle effect for our player. So when we have our player move across the screen from the left to the right, whenever it's touching something like the ground, for example, we want there to be some kind of particle effect. So it kind of looks like it's scraping the floor and some it's like picking up dust or something, I guess. So we're going to work on that today. And then hopefully in the next episode, we will get our sprites working. So I've been working on them, but for some reason... They are not allowing me to drag them into this tile pad, so I need to figure out why that is, uh, and then we'll get onto that. But today we'll work on our particle effect, and then that should probably be it for the episode. So let's go ahead and create a particle effect that is going to be attached to our player. So all we have to do is create one like this. Now we need to try and fix this so that it kind of. I'm going to put it right at the bottom here so that it looks like it's coming from the bottom because we want it to we want it to start from this corner the bottom left corner of the player and we're actually you know what i'm going to do i'm going to move our player quickly to the scene well it's in the scene but i want to move it right underneath here so that we can actually see it what it looks like in the game so let's just put it there and then let's work with this so our particle effect is going to be over there now we need to change a few things here so we just have to play with this play around with this and see what it looks like so it's going to have to be looping, I guess, I think, because we want it to constantly play until the player either jumps or the player dies, I guess. Or it's eventually, if we do add the flying ability, when the player is flying. So the only part we want it to play is when it's scraping along the floor or it's scraping along some kind of platform that it's sitting on. So there's not going to be a start delay. Start lifetime, we'll leave like that. So that should be fine now. Let's see, emissions, that should be fine. Shape, we don't want it to be a cone, we want it to be, no, not a donut, why did I select that, a, what is it, it's going to be a sphere? No, we want, we kind of want it to be, what shape do we want it? We want it to look from this corner and just burst out in the left direction, so go towards the left. Now, what kind of shape is that? Arc. Okay, so let's change the arc to about... We'll leave it as a cone. But we'll change the arc to about... What do we want? It? About 50 degrees, I guess. And then we need to rotate it. Where's our rotating? So we need to rotate it so that it looks like it's only coming out of this way. So I'm going to make that a lot less and say about 25 like that now we need to rotate that so it looks like this i kind of want it to go up like that and then before we do that i before we do anything else let's go to the renderer and just change the material to a square so we want it to be a square like that and then we need to change the size of it because size over lifetime, where is it? Which one do we start? Start speed, start lifetime, start 3D start size, start size. So this is going to be a random between two constants. And we want it to be, where was it? So this is going to be, it's, it has to be really small. So let's go about 0 0.1 to about 0 0.5. Something like that. Maybe even smaller than that, 0 0.3. Yeah, like that. And then I'm just going to bring that right onto our player like that, I guess. I don't know if this is the right way to do this, but this is how we're going to start. Okay, so we're also going to change the color of it. So this is also going to be a random between two. So the start color, let's just make it between... Uh, let's see. Oh, well, yeah, we can add a gradient. Let's make this about like grayish, something like that. And then we'll make this one a little bit darker, like that. And then just to add a little bit more of color, let's change this one to maybe something like this. And then hopefully this one, I don't even know if this is going to look nice, but let's see, maybe like a darkish color, something like that. We'll see what this looks like in the actual gameplay. So I'm going to play this game and let's just see what this looks like. So... Let's put our player back to where it was. If we can get there. So player needs to be over there. Now let's play this and see what this looks like. So our 
particle is obviously going to play, so that's fine, but we want it to be a lot faster than it is. We want it to look like it's happening as the, the game goes on, so let's change that. Can we go and change the speed of it? So, start speed. Can we... I wonder if we can change that in this script. So let's go. Let's go try and do this. So where is our? Is this the right one? Let's go. Let's go to our player, and I wonder if we can set the velocity of our player to be the start speed of the particles. So if yeah, let's try and do that. So let's go and create a serialized field. So let's just copy, paste that, and we'll change this to a particle system. So I've never done this. So let's see if this works. So this is going to be a particle system. And in our update method, let's go and say particle system set speed. We'll create that and then let's go and create that over here. So this is going to be a private void particle system set speed. And then let's open this up. Okay, now let's let's have a look and see if we can actually change the speed of it. So I don't actually know if this is going to work, but let's let's try and say, uh, what are we going to say? It's going to be particle system dot speed set, size by speed color by speed is poor set particle. Let's see, do we have any? Um, do we have velocity over lifetime? Uh, let's just look this up quick because we are wasting some time. So, unity set particle speed in particle effect speed in okay, so this says let me bring this here so you can also see it so what is this particle that main module dot simulation speed? So let's let's see. Private particle system, uh, and then you get the particle system off that, and then let's see if that works. So particle system dot main dot speed simulation speed, and that's going to be equal to our transform. Actually, no, it's not going to be transform. It's going to be... Do we have a rigid body on this? Rigid body. Rigid body 2D dot velocity. So let's see what's happening here. So property main axis returns temporary value. You cannot modify a struct member. Axis struct is not classified as a variable. Okay, so okay, let's just do this. Can we change the speed of a... Can you change speed of a particle effect in unity in code i guess that's changed how to set particle system speed start speed in runtime okay so particle system Var velocity, okay, so velocity dot multiplier plus, let's see, does that work? Let's try that and see if that works. So let's go to our method here, and instead of saying this, let's go and say var, where did it go? This is going to be velocity over life you can probably uh, name it whatever you want but let's go velocity over lifetime and that's going to be equal to particle system dot velocity over lifetime like that and then let's go and say velocity over lifetime dot x and then let's go and say it's going to be equal to transform no not transform why do I keep doing that it's going to be Rigid body, rigid body, two D dot velocity dot x. 
So I don't know if that's going to work, but let's give that a test. So that's an update method. So sh that should match the velocity of our player. So let's give this a try and see. Let me just move this over here so we don't keep running into that. Let's give this a test and see what it looks like. So there is our velocity. It's quite sh small. So if we press play, you can see that it... I don't actually know if that's working. You know what we could just do to make this a lot easier is just increase the speed. So start speed, let's go and say 10. And then let's see, what do you want to say? Start lifetime, we'll leave that at 5. Start delay, there's no delay. Start size. Now we want to change the emissions for rate over time to be about 20 because we want it to look like there's lots. Um, angle can stay about 25. Actually we want this, yeah, that's what we wanted. We wanted it to be a lot smaller, something like that. Now let's let's see if we can reduce this. So right over time, let's change that to about 10. Or well, let's say two, no. Maximum particles, let's see. Angle is going to be about, we'll have to increase that and then set this back to about 10. The problem is I don't really want, oh, let's change the lifetime, where's that? Start lifetime, shape, lifetime, is it this one? No, how do I change it? I couldn't remember how to change the life. How, how long it stays in the the game. So let's see, are they disappearing? Yeah, they are, they are eventually. Now, let's see, start speed. I want that to be fast. So let's change that to 10, like that. Maybe even a bit more, like 12 maybe. Start size, rotation, rotation, color, delta time, scaled, unscaled. Scaling mode, play on awake, rigid body, Stop action. Okay, that's not that. That's not that one. Right over time. Shape. I don't think that's the one. So let's see. Velocity over lifetime. That's the one we want. I think. So. Now actually, let's not play around with that. Yeah, we'll deal with that later. So lifetime of emitter speed. Force of lifetime. Color speed. Size over lifetime. Rotation, rotation by speed, noise. Okay, we'll figure that out later. Let's see if this works. I mean, that kind of looks a lot better. That's kind of what I want, but I don't want it to... Uh, it needs to be a lot smaller so that eventually when we go and see, when we do this... For, well, first of all, let's get rid of that because we don't really need that. That doesn't do anything. Actually, I don't think that does anything. Let's go and test that out again and see what happens. Let's just make sure that didn't do anything. Uh, let's see, start lifetime speed. Let's go and say 20. That's way too fast. Okay, so let's just set that to about 20 and then play it. And let's change the emissions for burst to about 15. And that's fine. Okay, so that's how I want it to look. Now, the only thing we need to do is we need to figure out how to... make it disappear when we're not on the ground so what we're going to do here is attempt to get rid of it when we have jumped so here we have already have this method here saying if we are jumping um or if we press the space bar and we are grounded that means we can jump so let's go ahead and jump so let's see if we can disable it whenever we have jumped so in other words we are actually let's do this the opposite way let's say if we are grounded so let's put a if statement here and say if in this underscore is grounded because now we check to see when the player is grounded using this overlap circle so whenever that is true let's go and say particle system dot set dot is pl is plain so what does that need does that need a is plain let's see true
particle system dot game object dot set active. Let's try this false. Actually, that needs to be true because we're on the ground. And then why are they double brackets? I don't understand. Okay, so and then we can go and say else. That's how you spell else. Else particle system dot game object dot set active uh, false. So I don't know if there is why are they double brackets. I don't know if there is supposed to be. If there's a different way to s turn this on and off, but we will go and see if this works. If it doesn't work, then we'll have to figure that out later on. But let's go and test this out. So when we are grounded, which we are grounded now, you can see that that works. Now, it works. Okay, does it? Oh, you know what? Now I'm trying to think on our player we didn't drag in our particle effect so maybe that other maybe this thing that we did actually worked so i'm just gonna copy this quickly and then let's just go back to how we had it with the changing of the speed back to this part save that and let's just drag this in because this might actually work so we need to drag our particle effect into there. And then, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to just put back our if statement. Because that should work now. So that now we should be able to see that our particle effect speed actually changes. Does it? So if we play the game, does it get faster? But you can see that now, that, that, that looks good. Now the only thing we need to change now is when we jump... We because that thing is so because this is so big, it goes so far, it kind of looks stupid. We only wanted to, we only wanted, let's play the game. So I'm going to play this and then pause this here. So we only wanted to really look like to go about this far so that it, they don't carry on forever. And maybe we could also make it as if they fade out whenever we jump. So instead of just having them disappear completely straight away, they kind of fade out, just like the way where as soon as you touch the ground, they kind of like start bursting out again. So it kind of looks more natural. But yeah, that is going to be it for today's episode. So in the next episode, hopefully I'll get this tile palette sorted out, the issue with this, so that we can start building out our level. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and I will hopefully see you in the next episode when I get my camera sorted out. Thanks for watching and goodbye.